he's got involved in this and he wants to just lose his way, like leave it. So I had this spot here because the mask is blue in the wind and my camera moved. So then I changed that shot to that shot. And then I have this here. I added in then this. So Helene, the actress for the female partner, would have more screen time. I thought, oh, you know what? I want to add this in. May build onto the story, may not. So I had this in her putting away her stuff. And now then Terry, uh, Thane comes through. Washes his hand. I was going to originally show blood, but it was still too much. I couldn't have, didn't have the time or the resources to do all that. Um, initially, I was going to have the female partner be outside when they were fighting, and she would see the Thane kill the interrogator, which is why she runs up packing, and she's typing everything down so quickly. But then I changed it that she hears him walk into the house, and she starts doing that. And here, when Thane starts walking out, originally I had... Washington Square by the Village Stompers to make it a little more like the victory he's walking out but then I realized this is actually quite a sad moment he's realized that his master is the target he's just fought an enemy and he doesn't know who else is here so he's walking out slowly and if you listen carefully you can hear a heartbeat like if you listen carefully you hear a heartbeat in the background I try to make that not too soft but just about about amount right amount make this an eerie dark like Oh my god, it's all coming together, like, it's all, like, hitting him now. Um, the one thing I wish I did better, oh, so this is the third time you see the door, and this time you actually see the door for the door, you don't see the door from the bottom, you don't see the door from the side, you see it as the door itself. Um, what I wish I did better was make Thane have, like, dirt on his singlet, or have his singlet tucked out, otherwise it makes him, so it makes him look more rough, like, he just did come out of a fight, which was the one problem I had. Then here back with Gujarat scenes, um, Sabah. One problem I have here is that shot, this shot, I didn't like it that much, but I went with it when I had. And then you can also see the computer in the background. And if you look carefully in the bottom right corner, not at this scene, but later scenes, you can see the bag of our stuff there, my Destar, my mask, all that kind of stuff there. So basically, this story as well, I got... It's essentially, this whole film is essentially my Star Wars, just taking that, taking everything Star Wars out and maybe replacing them with something else. You taught me to never use them. So these scenes with Sabah essentially have all the explanation of what's going on, why everything's happening. So it gives us the backstory and all the past scenes are essentially the action scenes. I wish I could have instructed Jujar to be a little more facial, like have a little more facial expression here. In this shot in particular, look at Gujarat's hands. It shows him nervous. Yeah, I didn't ask him to do that. I'm sh I don't know why he did it. He did it, and it really makes him look nervous. Like he was about to do something. He's not sure. And then here. <laughs> it's kind of a funny shot, but I liked it. And then now you know, it was like, why was he nervous earlier? Why was Sabah nervous? He has a gun in his back. So the audience sees it. Slows down. See a clock ticking? Here's a gun. Bam. So basically, yeah, as I said earlier, it was essentially my Star Wars film, minus all the Star Wars facts, all the Star Wars history, all that, essentially, but replaced with my own. Um, what I tried to do was bring them on a journey to follow a young apprentice as he gets involved in something which he shouldn't have. Um, I'm really proud of what we made of. Um, I am thankful to everyone. The actors, Jujad, Ali and Gujar, they were all brilliant. Gujar's accent was spot on. Jujar, when we had the fight scene, he actually punched me in one part. It hurt, but it was good. And then if you look at it, it's just, making it is just amazing. So I'm really glad I dragged, that, dragged out the credits a little, because it really lets it sink in, like what happened, you're trying to process it. So you see, we were introduced as this ruthless killer of a bad guy who captured Thane, which I wanted to show, but I didn't, because of time restrictions to film. Um, and yeah, here I have the special thanks to her Singh and Monica Kaur, because Jaja and Helene's parents, because they let me film in their house, spent a few days, different times, like a few different separate days, they're filming, took a few hours, and of course, yeah, I have to have a note 
warning people that these swords, we do use real swords. So I have to make sure that they know it's not toys, that these weapons have to be used by trained professionals essentially. And yeah, I'm not, yeah. So the film essentially starts off with a ruthless, kill ruthless killer. You're introduced with a ruthless killer. Then you find out, then you go into the future, present time essentially, where the hero, your hero, escapes. You know he escapes, but it's how he escapes, which is the interesting part. So you see him meet his master, and then you see him go into his story. And then from there, you also see how his master cares for him. He gets him the medicine, gets him the water. I didn't show him put the medicine in the water. I didn't show all that. But he says he did. He puts a jacket over him. It's like a father-son. And then, But then you see that Thane doesn't appreciate it as much. He doesn't... He has some attitude against Sabah. For whatever reason, I haven't explained. I can explain. I personally think it's because of what he went through before Sabah found him. So I feel like Sabah had many apprentices before. That's my... That's what I believe. That's what I want people to believe. Um, as you can tell in the second scene of Gajor at the end, where he says, I shot Hamel, he killed all my other apprentices, all that kind of stuff. Which, yeah, so I'll get back onto that later. So after, you see him, so uh, Thane starts telling his story. What do we get back? We go back to the interrogator. We get back to his ruthless techniques and we see him be the character that he says he's going to get into. We see him be a little crazy because he makes up this story about this knife he just picked up. He just picked up a couple of hours ago, maybe even minutes, however long it took it took for him to kill clear the house. And then of course we see them find Sabah. You see the female partner, which if I do make the sequel, which I hope to, um she'll play a bigger part in it. Um and then the fight scene happens, of course. The second version. I wish the fight scene could have gone on for longer, but sadly it didn't. Um, yeah, honestly. That's pretty impressive. So from there, we go to the Thane escaping, try to make that eerie, all that kind of stuff. And then we go back to where we started. Um, yeah. I think that's all I can think of, explanations of why I did what I wanted to do. The sequel, if I can make it, is pretty big. Like, it's not going to be a big scale film, I'm just going to film it in my garage. It's just going to be one scene which is going to be outside, oh wait, actually two, two scenes are going to be outside, and the rest is going to be in the garage, like in a separate house. It may, may not even introduce Hamill, I'm thinking of introducing someone else as a villain. All undecided. If I can, I'll film it these holidays. But and Jajar, he's out of the picture. So I won't really need his acting abilities that much. So yeah, basically, this is Kirtan Singh, the writer and director of the film Interrogation. I know I have been talking for longer than the actual film running, but I just wanted to explain a few things in case you guys ever wondered. Um, and of course there are bloopers to the film, quite a few bloopers, quite a few funny parts. We had a lot of fun making it. And I am overall thankful to Jadad, Haleen, Gujarat, and my sister Badesh. Um, it's just impressive, I just hope everyone likes it. The trailer, in less than a day, or it probably was about a day, it got 70 views on my YouTube channel. Which to me is a great deal. So I am quite impressed with that. And I hope... Everyone else is happy with the end result. Of course it will. There's a whole heap you can dive into. Quickly before I forget. Just remembered one last thing. In the interrogation. When the interrogator says. Morning mate. Look like you're having a nice dream. I made a direct. Relation there. Between my music video. Dreamer for my song. Dreamer. To Thane. Who. In the music video for Dreamer, we have a white masked man in the middle of the night walking around a suburb. Why? We don't know. What's he doing? We don't know. All we know is at the end of the music video, he takes off his mask. 
And then what do we have in interrogation? We have a white mask man who got captured. I, I, I said, I'm saying he gets captured in the morning, um, early morning. Um, the clothing, of course, is kind of different. Most of it is similar. If you know, it's all quite different. Um, but it's essentially that dreamer music video is essentially the dream Thane had when he was captured by the interrogator. While before before he was waking up, woken up by the interrogator, that was the dream he was happen having, of him taking off his mask, just wandering, thinking, dreaming essentially within his dream. Walking around thinking, and then in the end he takes his mask off and heads into the darkness. Which is what essentially happens to him in interrogation. He's lost. Something happens to him. A huge mistake. He gets involved in something he shouldn't have, and he leaves, ditching his mask after the fight with the interrogator, and then trying to find a problem, fading out, and in the end he just goes into the darkness, because he gets shot. But that's not the end for Jajar in, these, in this series, if I can make the sequel to it, it's not the end for Jajar. I still would need him, um, maybe for a prequel, I don't know. But we'll find out. So, hopefully I didn't miss anything, any secrets or anything that I wrote something specific for. Um, yeah, uh, I did make Gujot's part specifically for Gujot. Because at the time of writing this the script, I wrote it last year. Um, Gujot was getting surgery done for some masses growing in his lungs. Um, so I wasn't sure what he would be able to do. I would have loved to give him a fight scene because he's a master. Imagine that. So if I do, I may just give a prequel fight scene between him and him training Thane. Um, but yeah, that's why I didn't have him give him didn't give him a fight scene. But he did really good with being a master. It was really impressive. Like I wrote the master specifically for him because I knew, I thought at the time he wouldn't be able to fight. He wouldn't be able to do much action because. Yeah, he's had the surgery, so that was written for him. So then I wrote Thane specifically for Jajar. I wrote the interrogator specifically for me. Female partner, as much as I hate to say it, I wrote it. It's a general character. There's nothing specific about it related to Helene. Anything like that. I'm sorry, but yeah, with Jajar, he's younger, he's young, he's sporty. So I thought, why not make him a naive, not really naive, but... A young character who's like a typical young character who doesn't have any respect for the elders. I don't know that that might not be Jaja specifically. I don't know, <laughs> but yeah, that's what I made him for. I made the character to be. Um, so yeah. Any other deleted scenes I can think of? So of course, yeah, that's that's all I can think of. This film, the fifteen minute version I made, is not the same version I submitted to my media class. Um, it's quite different. I believe this film has more this version has more to offer than the version I gave my teacher. A little more edited, a little more detailed, of course, because it's longer. But what am I gonna do? So my marks for media don't reflect how good this film was. And people are really excited for it. Based on the trailer. I had one person, Kelly, my friend, she came, she told me in school today, um, no, today's the, what's the date today, it's the 5th or something, I don't know, yeah, it's the 5th of September, she told me today, Monday, so Monday today, she told me she saw my trailer, it's really good, I thought I'm afraid people might be too overexcited to expect too much, and then the movie won't be as good, but yeah, and then one of my friends commented saying it's a really interesting trailer, short but good. 39 seconds. I made a minute and 30 minute trailer, 1 minute and 30 trailer, so a 30 second trailer for my 5 minute film Betrayal, and then, I don't know, 39 second trailer for my 15 minute interrogation. Um, yeah. So, that's all I can really think of. Thank you all for listening. This has been the director's commentary, commentary of the 2016 film Interrogation. Goodbye.